And with us, <laughs> guess who's back? <laughs> who's back? Holly. Holly Bear. Holly Bear. Take a nice seat back there. Oh. Woo. So, as you may know, in the past, I was crying, moaning, complaining, doing anything I could on here and outside of using social media to get her out of this little woman right here for DWI, okay, out of jail. So, and I was always, this went on for a long, long time. And I met this other chick, right, and we were chilling, right? She's like, I'll say a prayer. My prayers normally work. I'm like, okay. Might as well, nothing else is working. And we said a prayer, and then a month later, she was out. And I was, and she actually makes YouTube videos. Angelina, shout out to you. You see this? So shout what? Out to Angelina. Yeah, for real. Yeah, she saw the note you gave us. So where have you been, babe? I've been locked up for nine months now, and I'm out obviously, which is a blessing. And I did a lot of like <laughs> I would not stop until she was out I literally had to fight for her to get out but you gotta explain things like with COVID now going to jail is a whole different ball game it's sketchy tell them it's you, sketchy you start off um, having to be tell them about solitary confinement in solitary oh, confinement for two weeks for a quarantine and then I ended up in solitary confinement for the rest of the first five, five months, months and 27 days ish right yeah five months and 27 days look but, how did that make you but feel then after that i how, got yeah but how did that make you feel that's a long time dude it made me feel weird because i um they were depriving me of my rights they would deprive me of my right to use a phone I, they wouldn't allow they didn't put me in a cell with a phone that worked in solitary confinement and the only way that I could use the phone was to use an iPad. And but of course, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So where I live, it's 561. They're the 772. So we're just one area code away. And I, it took three months for her to call me from jail. How did that make you feel? It's waiting three months. It makes me feel awful. Um, there was a time where I couldn't get a hold of James and um, James couldn't get a hold of me very frightening it was dude it was scary i'm not gonna lie i was fucking like hor horrified i was afraid they were gonna try to kill her in there and that's why i made a couple videos stating the fact that you know just saying that could happen just in case if something did happen you know did you ever feel like sketchy shit was going on i did when i first got there i was very sketched out and um I, it's all about talking to the higher ups when it gets to that because um, yeah. once you get all the higher ups involved, then they no longer can be as corrupt. Which is no, that's why I was saying corruption. I kept saying corruption. No fingers being pointed back at me. What did you think? It was corruption. I felt like it was corruption. Yeah, no, but how? Explain it because I know what you mean, but you need to explain it better because you were the one that you know what I mean. Yeah. Almost like people were getting paid off to do cra like weird fucking shit, right? Well, that's what you told me you feel. You felt yeah, like. there because um, there's people in there that it's not their primary job um, to just to have their job. They have side gigs where the, side jobs that they pick up from different people that to kill people and do. You yeah, don't know that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was just not a fucking cool situation. My point being All is, right. hey, how y'all doing? How you doing? Um, where the point is, what have we learned from this, Polly? We learned that the system and and above us is corrupt. But we we live in Palm Beach County. She got caught on the county line for something, and in Palm Beach County, they 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 do they do good jobs. I feel like. And, uh, anyways, why I don't even say that because they have you in and out, but this was crazy. Nine months for what? 
a DWI, dude, and fleeing and eluding. But in order for you to get out, you felt like you're under duress, even though nobody had, there was no body cams on any of these, not on, not only not on the officer, not even in the car, they didn't have body cams. <laughs> It almost felt like her, uh, I had to get on her freaking, her public defender's ass to make sure he did his job. And then, how'd you feel about that? I felt very grateful. I learned one thing uh, while I was in there, that when I was there for over the, the new year, they got me like the day after Christmas. The, there was an officer watching me called Officer Yearby birthday September I mean February in February but it the way it worked out was it was the new year with officer Yearby he gave me great advice and he told me um, to ask for um, a supervisor if you have trouble ask for oh, yeah, a supervisor yeah. Duh, you always ask for the supervisor. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's a little bit of her story. Her story goes much farther, deeper. Um, but just know right now is don't be in, <laughs> keep your ass out of jail, especially right now. You don't want to be around these places because there is like, there's no one overseeing these places, literally. And, oh, I even saw, actually, I heard something on the news and read an article about how people are saying don't let the, don't put people in jail right now. It's unsafe in a certain part of our country. Like, these, these places are not being watched. Like, so they got away with a lot of fucked up shit, which doesn't, like, they shouldn't have. But then again, nobody, family, it's just not good, okay? It's fucking called corruption is what it is to the finest and the illest. Look at this. This is look at this little woman. This is what they did. It took you. They locked me up and threw away the key. Threw away the key. <laughs> they, I didn't even get a trial. I didn't get. Oh yeah, she like didn't see a judge for, for three months. months. I was locked up for nine months without any trial, without um, anything, but hardly any sunlight. Dude, I sent her. Uh, obviously, I sent her. I sent her a postcard almost every other day at least hopefully sometimes it would go a week without sending one if, depending on where it was or what i was doing but anyways i waited nine months for her to get out and i held this fucking ring on the hell ta whole time so i was celibate for a whole nine months right baby correct and you were too weren't you <laughs> obviously <laughs> this is your dyke out. but no yeah. check out this pretty <laughs> look at that look how dope this is oh this is beautiful this pathway so there you go Brothers and sisters, you have a blessed day. May peace be with you. And also with you. Oh, and by the way, they want... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, there's more. <laughs> they wanted to put her on probation, but what happened? We wore... James suggested that I wear black and white. Um, I wore a black and white dress. And so did his mom also. And they let us off. Um, so no probation nothing for the rest of the three months they were and so i have i have no probation at all yeah anyways it got dropped like that luckily <laughs> and i was like I, bet I was like thinking myself damn right but anyways so that's the end of the story it's done it's over with does he have a lawsuit well possibly is it something we're going to talk about right now no we just want to live our lives She's how long you been healing now, babe? We've been what? What have we been doing? You don't even know. We've been camping out for how long? Well, we got an RV. For is it two months or one month? Two. We bought an I RV. Know. I bought an RV when she was in there, and what happened? You came out. I came out. I was so happy to see James. He. And now we're chilling, right, babe? Yeah. This right. Give me this. So, meditate on that, dude. Nine fucking months, dude. This uh -huh. little woman, nine months. And dude, I <sighs> never mind. Compared to what I did, that's just crazy. But my county's different, so just remember, uh, remember this shit. Because look, if they could do that to her, they can do that to anybody. So think about that.